Capricorn, hello my loves, and welcome back to the channel, Supreme Gratitude for picking on the video. Your support really means a lot to me. We're going to tap into your weekly energy. You're going to have Capricorn in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or North Node. This message can resonate with you. Please make sure you like the video, drop a comment below if you're watching the video. And don't forget to sign up for the Spiritual Enlightenment class that starts August 17th, which is next Thursday. I keep the classes very small. Um, if I am not mistaken, I think I only have one more slot left. One or two slots left. I don't want to say it wrong. So, um, come join the crew. It's, it's quite a few of the God Squad members in the main group. So, after this class, I will be taking a break from these classes to focus on the members um, and, 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 and getting some things done. So, Make sure you guys um, are part of the class on next Thursday. That starts next Thursday, 10 p.m. Eastern, Eastern Standard Time. You can go to the website below and book the Spiritual Enlightenment six-week course, okay? All right. Weekly energy reading for the collective of Capricorn Spirit. Happy Ose Ifa to those that recognize Ifa. First card out in energy, okay. Empress. All right, five of cups, okay. Hey. In reverse. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> like the Capricorn with the energy. Ten of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. All right, now. The Moon card, Five of Wands, Seven of Cups, Seven of Wands, Justice. Ashe. So, Capricorn, someone has been reflecting on something emotionally, right? Things have been illuminated. Um, depending on your placements in your chart, you may have had some changes uh, with this full moon we just had in Aquarius. But you just you're looking at something like it's always conflict, it's always dramatic. There's it's not a line, and so you just sat down and weighed your options about something. Okay, this is you and your person. Remember, energy's fluid. Reverse the roles as need be. But someone carefully thought about something and just decided that they wanted to protect their energy. This is justice here, going in your favor, man. With these cards on the deck, man, listen, somebody is moving forward, not looking back. And by doing that, your money is coming in. Your money is looking good. Ten of Pentacles, okay? Page of Pentacles. Some of you guys could be getting a new job as well or starting a new adventure when it comes to your finances, okay? So that's good stuff, man. Stepping into your interest, energy, healing yourself, um, not being in conflict, not fighting, leading with love, no matter what the situation may seem or feel. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's clarify Empress for the collective of Capricorns. Yeah. Let's see, Empress. I feel like that was that because it did spin. Let's see. You got the Nine of Pentacles out here. You got the Nine and the Ten of Pentacles out here, Capricorn. Come on now. This is looking good. All right, nine of swords. Some nines here. Fruition. Things coming into fruition. <laughs> Ooh, you 
got the Emperor and the Strength card when you split the deck, okay? Uh, six of Swords here, all right. Mm-hmm. And let's see. Interest. King of Cups in reverse. Okay. So, as an Empress, I feel like you were going through something. You got the Star in reverse and the Queen of Cups in reverse with the Five of Wands here. Okay. So, I feel like you're trying to restore something within yourself. Okay. Empress energy. You could have been like self-employed or just to yourself, get money, good job, right? But then you were stressing about something, right? Stressing about something, okay? There could have been some type of travel or someone could have moved, right? Someone could have moved in, someone could have moved out. And this puts you in a, in a, in a place of, of stressing, some type of movement here. King of Cups in reverse. So whatever this movement was, this... this, this, this if it's with a partner, this person just did not genuinely love you. They didn't come in with a genuine love. Or if they did, they are not in a genuine space of love right now. You have the star in reverse, the queen of cups in reverse, and the a five of wands. So the king of, king of cups in reverse and the queen of cups is in reverse. So at one point, there was a lot of love within this situation, but it is not anymore. And that could be something that you're like, I'm an empress. I need to rise above this situation, right? I need to get an alignment with myself. Someone is hurt here. Someone is someone is hurt and they're not, you know, being nurturing and they're not giving the love. And there's some argument. There's some confusion going on here, okay? Like, what happened? How did this happen, right? Right. And you're like, I, I was independent and then I, I wasn't. And so what are we doing here? Let's clarify the Five of Cups in reverse for the Collective of Capricorn Spirit. Alright, so you have the Three of Wands. Like it, it was good until it wasn't. You have the Knight of Pentacles. You have the Hermit here and you have the Temperance in reverse. With the high priestess at the bottom of the deck, right? So, you may have just known that something wasn't worth looking back at, okay? You may have, like, just put in the work and was like, you know what? This isn't really going to last. This isn't really going to be what it should be here. With the Knight of Pentacles, this is, like, something moving very slow, but it's very repeated, right? It's very routine, right? Things taking place the same way, Okay? With the Hermit here, Virgo energy, Sagittarius energy, Scorpio energy, Virgo energy again, uh, uh, Gemini energy, Aquarius energy, Aries energy, like, it's here, okay? But someone is like, just, just carefully thinking, like, what should I do, right? And someone ran out of patience with this situation, like, you know what, I don't have any more patience with it, you know, or you don't want to put any more patience with something, Right? Some, somebody saying, I don't miss that. I don't miss what happened here. High priestess, some of you guys could be in the cult, be a spiritual worker. Or this is just mean you're very intuitive and you're following your intuition with the high priestess here. Someone is following their intuition saying, I got to do what I got to do. All right? With this empress energy here. Yeah, somebody saying, I got to do what I got to do. You could be praying. Spirit, show me. God, show me what I'm supposed to do. Let's clarify the ten of pentacles for the collective of Capricorn spirit. Okay. Ten of Pentacles is the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Uh, Two of Cups. Okay. So this is definitely in love here. So, um, Oh, King of Wands in reverse. Okay, so I'm already seeing you got the Empress and the King of Wands in the reverse, the King of Cups in reverse, right? So this masculine energy here, like whoever you are, you're praying about this masculine energy or we're praying about this masculine energy. This person could have also been blocking your finances, okay? 
um, or you had big dreams to be like, you know, you, you had things going on with this person to, to make things happen. But if this person was blocking your energy because they are King of Cups in reverse and King of Wands in reverse, right? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Someone is just stop, that's going to stop giving into a connection. Yes, this is a soulmate, but they could very much be in the, you know, in the matrix, not aligned and not ready. King of Wands in reverse is someone extremely indecisive, someone that's a big liar, someone that's going to do things their way and their life isn't right. Five of Swords, you're defeating this energy, right? So this is what this means, you're defeating this energy. So if... If you were helping this person out, right, with the Six of Pentacles in reverse, you're now going to start putting that back into you, doing what you have to do for you to reach this Ten of Pentacles moment here. All right? So that looks that looks good. That looks good. You were waiting on something to happen, right? Ready. You, you were, like, ready to protect your energy, right? Protect your energy from something, and you're very successful. Something did not change. Someone just was in repeated situations. And no matter how much you have, I was having a conversation this morning with someone. And as as an Aquarius, right? And I do have Capricorn in my chart, but as an Aquarius, when we give to people, people don't really think that you're genuinely giving to them because people don't really help people now these days. Everybody wants to get money. Everybody is trying to get something for themselves right everybody is out for themselves and so when we genuinely give and you see these people that they're messed up in the head because they're going to make every excuse as to why it's not genuine right because they they're messed up they can't even see it and sometimes i feel like spirit does that on purpose to them you know what i'm saying because until you align with your aura you won't be where you need to be anyways right so I, I, I'm not really sure how this is playing out, but again, like somebody is going to stop giving to something. Somebody here is not aligned with themselves. They don't know what they want, okay? You did have the king and the queen of cups in reverse, so there was a lot of love, possible marriage here, and it's kind of like, you know, if it's not a marriage, it was just, you know, just a lot of love that is just going down the drain. Let's clarify the page of Pentacles for the sake of a Capricorn spirit. Let's see here. <laughs> now you got the King of Swords here. So I feel like this person is the Emperor to your Empress, but they are just not aligned here. Uh, King of Swords in reverse. That could be you, but I'm really getting like this is your person because you got all of these Kings in reverse. Unless you're dealing with multiple people. But how, how are you dealing with everybody that you're dealing with is not in alignment with themselves? Then you have to check you. But I'm, I'm heavily getting like this person is an emperor. They just aren't. They, they're going through something. They're not aligned with themselves. This person is just trying to figure something out. And right. And sometimes when people are in that energy, there's nothing that you can do to assist somebody with getting in that energy, getting out of that energy. Okay. So page of Pentacles here. You got the King of Swords in reverse. You got the Two of Wands. You got the Wheel of Fortune. And you got the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. So, I feel like someone here is just like, they, they want a new opportunity, but they're not truthful. They're lying. Um, they're, they are manipulating, right? And they want you to make a choice based on lies and manipulation. But the wheel is turning for you, okay? Somebody here is focusing on their finances and just focusing on their finances and their family, okay? The two feminine energy cards here is the... Queen of Pentacles and the Empress. So you can't really beat that, right? Every card that showed up for this masculine energy is in reverse, all right? So whatever this may be, um, and however the situation may go, um, you know, someone, someone, someone is focusing on finances and making things happen and how they're going to do things, right? But someone is moving away from something that they feel like they, that no longer serves them and no longer loves them 
they've been waiting on this opportunity just seeing things just continuously go the same way someone had to carefully think about this and what they were doing and they just lost patience in this so someone is no longer giving into this soulmate relationship because someone is indecisive they're liar they don't have their stuff together they don't have their money together they're like i gotta win at all costs right king of swords in reverse here all right somebody's just like you know what i gotta make a choice on what i'm gonna do So it could be fake that you and this person be together. It's just that it's not right now. With the Wheel of Fortune next to the Queen of Pentacles and the three of three of the Two of Wands, someone has to make a decision. Like it can be fake, but just not right now. Okay? Someone may choose someone else right now or just focus on their finances. It's just I don't know. Someone has to do a lot of change and that's just not it right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. That was a lot. Someone here is like giving in and the other person is very resilient, like fighting for something. You know, when people are going through things in their life, they can't really make the changes and the adjustments that you want and require. Right? We don't want to be selfless, even even though, you know, we have to realize a person can only see one to the level in which they know right you know these days everybody know everything but a person can't really properly align how they need to if they are not properly aligned with themselves i say be mindful of that we, we always want to think that we can help everybody but you can't help everyone like for real you cannot help everyone. Some people, the the, the, the the lessons that they're going through, they got to help themselves out of that lesson. Because if not, then they're going to continue to go through the same thing, right? relax what's for you will be do what's best for you um you know services kids at risk of being taken or is about to reporting something neglect or abuse all right be mindful of the haters spiritual hater hates on your spirituality your light your magic and your power most of the time that's what it is right especially when when you you're around people trust me in the spiritual world and i'm around so, so many different people i see their characters and, 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 you know, when you see someone's character, it's not for you to share it. It's just for you to acknowledge it. Some, sometimes people, especially, if this, okay, even in school, right, you hear people all the time say, oh, I have went to college and I've got this degree and I'm a doctor and I've got my MBA, right? And they feel like that's something to brag on, right? Because they've accomplished these things. Kudos to you. Um, and not to take away from that, but that doesn't make you better than anyone else that didn't want to take that path that you took so you can have certain people that feel like they're better than you because they put in this work or this amount of years you hear that a lot but then when you get somebody regular they like oh you don't know anything because you didn't go through what i went through and and the, and the moral is that everybody doesn't take the same route right so to be knowledgeable to be on your shit you could have just experienced it in life and if you've experienced it in life right that gives you the same credentials as somebody that went to school. You just learned in school the white people way. And in life, it taught you the G way. You understand me? So, somebody here is just hating. Someone that really just dislikes who you are. Okay? Uh, boss B. Okay? Runs on business, stable, busy, multifaceted. Yeah, so you're a boss. You're confident. You got your stuff together. You could, if, if you're not, you don't have your own business, you could have you know a good job right and somebody hates that romantic love affair sex fix secret lover f buddy 
Yeah. So whoever this person is, incarcerated, locked up, about to be always in and out. All right. So somebody here d definitely doesn't have their life right. Cleans your space. I'm doing that today. Drama starter. Yeah. So somebody just always, yeah, in and out. Ghosted, disappearing. Um, yeah, because it's like somebody's like, okay, well, let's get another chance. Let's get another opportunity. Yeah. They lost their last chance or you did. And so this last chance was this last chance. This separation is like the separation that's going to be, that's going to last. Like, no. Yeah, a child nigga that bad parent you scared of hates parent. Something about child stuff here, it's here heavy. So someone could have a child that hates their parents. So if you know that one, you don't have children, then it's not you, it's the other person. If you have children and you know dang well that your children don't hate you, you're not always arguing at your children, yelling at your children, then okay. Somebody's lonely. So somebody's child is very lonely here. So whoever this is, their child is lonely. Someone has gotten a reading done on you. Relax and clear your energy. So be mindful of that. Uh, people aren't going to like you. Especially if you are in a position that they want to be in. or Because, you know, when life, life, you life with it. You keep going. But you got to keep in mind of this, right? This Ten of Pentacles, it's coming in for you. And the Empress, it's here for you, okay? You are the Empress with the Ten of Pentacles. And never let anybody shake your energy. Never let anybody bring you down from where you are. Regardless of how they feel or how they see, you are. Continue to be you. A lot of times it's just being by yourself and continuously growing spiritually and, and getting to your paper and taking care of your child or your children if you have any, uh, uh, pets, you know, if you have any, and just doing what you need to do for you. That is the most important part. But most importantly, no matter what you believe in, you cannot accomplish anything without putting God first. Ashe.